gosh, February is already around the corner. I cannot get all my entity information. Um, it's perfectly fine to go over uh, and, and file extensions. We'll talk about kind of the benefits of why you might even want to extend, even if you have all your information. Uh, but let's first talk about who might not want to extend. Like if you are expecting a big refund, um, for example, you withheld a lot of taxes, but you use some of the real estate loopholes or strategies, you're expecting a huge refund, might make sense to file on time or sooner rather than later because, I mean, you just want your money back, right? right. Yeah. Why, why leave it with the IRS? We've seen what happens when you do that. Um, yeah, so, that, that, you know, that's the... Uh... File on time. Um, any other reasons to file on time? I mean, that's the big dr driving one, obviously. Um, but keep in mind that is that if you, even if you are going to file an extension, um, if you expect to owe taxes when you file your return, those taxes are due by April 18th. Okay. So even if you're going to, you're going to wait till October because you're going to, you know, wait on whatever reasons. If you think you're going to owe taxes with your 2022 tax tax return, you need to pay that by April, or you're going to they're going to, they can impose late um, payment penalties and interest on you. Yeah. So what's the benefit of filing an extension? It just gives you more time to gather documents. Like we said, for some of you, um, you might have to go on extension just because you've invested in a bunch of real estate uh, partnerships and you're waiting on the K-1s, right? Um, but otherwise, you know, you can just kind of choose. Um, the other benefit is less chance for mistakes. We kind of touched on this a little bit earlier where, um, you know, maybe Fidelity issued a 1099 to you with some stock transactions. Uh, we follow a return, but later on, they follow a corrected uh, 1099, right? So um, by following extensions, it gives you more time that if any of the issuers give you an updated tax form, um, that you don't have to have the cost and burden of doing amended returns. I think one of the, one of the really big reasons to think about filing extension if, if, if needed is uh, allows you the ability to do kind of what we call multi-year multi tax planning, meaning that if you wait to, you know, say October to file your 2022 taxes, uh, it gives you more insight into what is happening in 2023, right? So maybe there's something on your 2022 taxes that maybe you're looking to do at cost sex that accelerate depreciation, take, you know, deductions against 2022 income. But fast forward to October of 2023, and you discover that that similar fact pattern, it's just my income is a lot higher in 2023. Well, then maybe in that situation, you've decided maybe it makes sense to delay taking all the extra depreciation in 2022 and now push it to 2023. But had you filed your return in March or April, didn't know what 2020 is going to look like, you may not have that ability to kind of have that, you know, hindsight, if you will, right? Yeah. Um, and then the other benefit is delaying retirement contributions or repayments. So for those of you that are looking to save taxes by funding a 401k, a solo 401k or a defined benefit plan, pension plan, you have all the way up until you file your tax returns to make those contributions. So if cash flow is tight right now, but you want the deduction, it could make sense to go on extension just to give yourself more time to put together the money to then be able to fund retirement account and get a tax deduction, right? So a lot of uh, possible uh, benefits to going on extension. Like Matt said, in all scenarios, if you owe taxes, they are still due by April 18th um, in order to avoid late payment penalties.